This is Go for Go for HD. I'm your host. This is Let's Play Resistance 3 Part 7, I believe, or Part 6, or probably Part 7. I always forget. You probably know that. And we are here at the train yard. And Dr. Melkov is walking like an old man. And there is a reason for that because he is an old man. The name Resistance 2, where he also was an old man. He could walk faster, he could speak faster, he was more with full with energy, and this game only takes place two years after, or five years after. I must rest. And now that I think about it, it was probably too much for him. He has, he sure has lost energy from those couple of years from Resistance to Resistance 3. So he just takes a nap while I go and try to find a way for him to get past the doors which is right in front of him we have to pull a lever or pull a thingy which triggers the door to open and then we can go forward we have to find a place for him to rest and then I'll go looking out for whatever we have to look out for uh, which you will find out later in this video this video here isn't getting a lot of views. The Resistance 3 Let's Play isn't getting a lot of views. Maybe in a couple of years, maybe in a couple of months or days, but I do not know. So, I recently bought Gears of War 3. Epic! It's so epic, god damn it. If you haven't watched my unboxing video, the link's in the description. The game is far the best game I've ever played on the Xbox 360. Now remember, I only had the Xbox 360, or I have only had it for about three months. Three months, yeah, three goddamn months. And um, I have tried a couple of games, Halo Reach, all the exclusive, Alan Wake and uh, all that stuff, but Gears of War 3 beats them all. And that's a monster we call a video maker. Somehow it doesn't care about us. But I have a feeling we're going to meet that monster later in the game. And we're going to kill it. The same strategy in every action game. You meet the enemy and later you get to defeat it. And god damn, he's slow. Oh my god, Dr. Malakav, you are a slow little bastard. And if you could just climb a little faster, we will get through this level as a piece of a cake. So... But no, you don't want to go faster. Like I know you're old. Well, actually, I don't know how many years old you are. If you're over 80, then I goddamn understand. But if you are 70 or 71, man, then goddamn damn it, you should probably have eaten. Uh, yeah, you should probably consider uh, some workouts to make you better. I mean, I've seen 19 year old, which is as strong, which is as strong as a. 20 year old people who works their way up who stays young for the rest of their lives and of course you need to rest so I'll just pick up the carbiner I'll just sip my way out and you just do whatever you want to do goodbye and then we are going to sip line Woo! come on come on yeah! ah, I'm disappointed the animation there could have been better he could have jumped on the madras which was on the wall with his feet wow, like a kung fu kick but no he just fell down it wouldn't happen like that in real life you would have you will not have been so steady like he was and i remember from resistance one especially resistance one i don't believe it's much in the resistance two where it's dark rooms and you only have a flashlight i hate those it's goddamn scary this game, it isn't. I have too much powerful weapons, I can kill every single enemy, I can hear the enemy. And somehow Resistance 1 was scarier, Resistance 2 was... Uh, what should I say, was scary that too, but Resistance 3 is the least scariest game I've played when it comes to the Resistance series. I don't know why, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm used to scary games. If you ever heard about Dead Space games, the Dead Space series, my god, that's one hell of a scary game. Games, since there's two games out, it's kind of a scary game. 
scary game. And it has some competition when it comes to resistance and dead space. They're both quite nifs and scary. Oh, I remember this place from the first playthrough. Woo! It was hard. But I don't know what to do, so I'm going just going to get my way through it and I'm going to try to not die here. And otherwise we're level two. Ooh, almost level three. I don't know which if it's going to come to level three in this video, but probably next. I'm almost dead. In case you don't know, I am playing on the superhuman difficulty. If you haven't watched the previous part, then you click on the links description in the description. If you haven't watched from all the way to the beginning, then links is also in the description. And guys, some of you guys may add me on Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, but I have to warn you, I am not always available. Um, almost never available because I have games to play there's constantly new games there's constantly new trophies I have to get because I am a trophy hunter um, listed on one of the 40th best in Norway not the world I don't know the world but in Norway but feel free to add me my friend list on PlayStation 3 is probably full it's go for go for it which without, without the HD on the PlayStation so feel free to add me if I'm too f if my friend list is full then please just send me a message and I'll be sure to add you and on uh, Xbox 360 my live my gamer tag is go for go for it HD which I am named here in the YouTube on my YouTube channel uh, here I get, got a little confused because I didn't know how to get out, but then I remember I had to kick the door planks, I had to kick, kick the, the planks which was connected to the door. Whoa! And then I uh, went through. And guys, uh, in the start of this Let's Play, I upload a video every single day for the five first few, few days. But uh, here uh, I uploaded this video two days later or probably three because I wanted to get some more views. I know there are some followers who constantly watch my videos, thank god for you, but there is people who doesn't watch me at all and I want to bring those people back in because when, they pull, when I thought they would pull me out, they pulled me back in. Yeah, reference from The Godfather. I'm watching the series The Problems now. I have watched the complete series of Lost, Prison Break, Heroes. Um, 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 there is some more series. Uh, woof. Got, um, uh, yeah, a short series which is, which is called The Event, a short series which is, which is called Flash Forward. Be sure to make to check them out. It's free on the internet, you know how internet is though is this those days. It's free. The part bay. Why do they not shut down the part bay? I don't know. I don't know. Why doesn't they shut down the part bay? People every freaking day can download illegal stuff. But no, uh, they're not getting caught. And I have to admit, I have myself has sometimes, not always, but sometimes. Um and downloaded things from Pirate Bay. But I'm just one of those billion people who does it every single day. And do we get caught? No. No, because the police doesn't care about it. The, and the trials against uh, the Pirate Bay, well, 13 times I've heard, 13 goddamn times. Or 14. And they, they haven't win once. There's an audio journal, that's good, and they haven't wins to win once, I don't know. How can they lose to Pirate Bay? And... I don't know. And I recently re read a news, news, artic news article uh, with, uh, about uh, Gears of War uh, on the Xbox 360, the series. Now, as I said in a new video, uh, the Gears of War 3 has come out, but somehow, somehow, someone managed to download the whole game on a single USB memory stick and was available to play it on the Xbox 360 like free and it's amazing what hackers can do this, these days they even shut down Sony, they even shut down PlayStation Network the Anonymous I believe shut down uh, the PlayStation Network for about 4 days hackers these days, they are getting dangerous DANGEROUS and this video is coming to an end, guys. 
I have to say thank you for goddamn so much for watching, subscribe and like and favorite if you haven't, comment in the comment section below what do you think about this video, what do you think about me, what should be changed, what shouldn't be changed. I'm so glad and uh, thank you for watching and uh, <laughs> I'm just so glad for being with you guys, I'm so glad that I'm talking here. Chapter 7, Friends in Low Places. In the next video you will see Chapter 7, I may even complete it in the next video. So be sure to check that out, be sure to wait for my next video, I'm going to jump here and continue my next video in a couple of days, even tomorrow probably, out.